Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Sports Central. Mark Jackson here along with my co-host, Mr. Al Snow. Man, it's good to have you in the studio. Yeah, this uh, actually this segment's right up my alley with the golf, but uh, before we get into it, this segment is sponsored by the Florida Department of Citrus. Great folks over there, and uh, great folks, great product. Man, what a, what a combo that is. Absolutely. Well, one of the reasons Al said this is a good subject for him, we're going to be talking about the 37th annual Polk County Amateur. This is good stuff, and we've had a lot of winners. We've had some Hall of Famers that have participated in this uh, in the past, but we brought a celebrity in his own right. If you don't know this guy from the world of sports, shame on you. It's Drew Gillen. Drew, glad to have you from Bright House yeah, Network. Thank you very much. Well, it's pleasure uh, to be here. Absolutely, and you've done an awful lot taking this tournament um, at 37 years. It's gone on. It's gone through mm -hmm. some different management and. And I think the, uh, the, the guy that won it last year was Lee White, and, and there's been a number of uh, very notable golfers that have participated in this. But it can't happen without good corporate support like, like Bright House and, of course, uh, BB&T. Uh, I know Sue Halverson is in the uh, studio, and mm -hmm. she, uh, uh, she wouldn't come on the show. We really <laughs> wanted her here to talk about it, you know, from a diff little different perspective. So we'll just give her a little teasing because of that. Because that's, of that, that's, that's great. Yeah, actually, it is the uh, 37th year, and uh, we're really proud to be a sponsor of it. Uh, you know, uh, the money goes towards three different charities. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, three different charities, and it's all about the youth. Mm -hmm. And they're our greatest resource, so that's why Bright House is involved. In, uh, the play that's in this tournament is unbelievable. Um, Lee White won it last year, and he also he won it, I believe, in 2010. So uh, a lot of good young players and uh, really going to be a great event. I know that, um, you know, the history of the event, I mean, it was really born out of the fact that Charlie Stein uh, mm -hmm. started the event as part of uh, Florida Golf Week, which ended up being Golf Week magazine, which right. I actually worked for for a time. Um, that's really kind of how it started to be the premier event, you know, is for amateurs in Polk County, which it is. Who are some of the, you know, kind of key names to kind of keep an eye out for this week? Well, I tell you, we have a lot of young players. Lee White's turned pro, but uh, the gentleman won a year before, uh, Tiger Goodwin. Uh, Tiger, uh, Tiger's a good player. Uh, we've got a lot of young players. Drew Guffey's back, so we got a lot of young players. Um, I really think uh, Lone Palm has uh, some, some fellows that are great players and they could be a part of it too and uh, come down uh, to the end on uh, Sunday afternoon. I couldn't pick a winner, uh, <laughs> but I really think uh, as strong as the field is, they could come out of uh, any of the top uh, three flights. Sure. So. Do you know if uh, at this point is uh, Sam Horsfield signed up or? Our 16-year-old phenom? Yeah, everybody's kind of heard of Sam. <laughs> uh, at this point, I don't think he is, okay. so I hope he does play. But uh, we still have some openings, so if uh, someone uh, would like to get in, we still have room. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and we still have room for sponsors as well. You know, the event's uh, three weeks from uh, tomorrow. So uh, August 3rd and 4th. 3rd and 4th, Lone Palm. In fact, how can people... Uh, find or get more information about the event if they want to attend or if they want to sign up. Is there a website? That there is. Uh, you can go to uh, Lone Palm GC Golf Club dot com slash poke amateur and you can go on there uh, sign up. The entry forms are there. Uh, the information for the tournaments there. Uh, sponsorship information as well and then also the players will be able to go to that website uh, Saturday afternoon uh, for their tee times on uh, Sunday. Yeah. That's a, you know that's that's an awesome awesome event, but the, the charities that you're talking about, I want to jump back for just a second. Mm -hmm. The Citrus Center Boys and Girls Clubs, Correct. Girls Inc. of Winter Haven, and then the First Tee of Lakeland. So it reaches throughout the county. I mean, it, this, is, this is a tremendous benefit. It does. Uh, I think Girls Inc. of Winter Haven uh, has about 230, 250 uh, girls that they work with on a daily basis. Um, I think the First Tee has over 1,000, and uh, Citrus Center Boys and Girls Club has almost 2,000 kids that they work with, you know, on a daily basis and through the weeks. And uh, all three charities are great. They're deserving. But, you know, it is all about the kids, and so that's where the money goes. Sure. In essence, Bright House Networks is putting, putting its, its resources into human resources. That's the bottom line. Yeah, we are. Well, he said there's nothing like the youth of America when you talk about kids and education and, and child safety. These are all big things. And because of Bright House's generosity, 
uh, over the years, uh, we've been able to support it. So if you as a uh, sponsor, you write the check out directly to the charity. So mm -hmm. Bright House pays for uh, some of the, uh, the gifts, the tea gifts and what have you. So all the money that we, you write the check out as a sponsor, all the money goes to the charity. That's wow. fantastic. It yeah. is. It's, it's been good. And uh, this is the ninth year that we've been involved in. So through eight years, we've taken in and made a little over half a million dollars. Uh, for wow. the, for right the back charity. into the community. Right back into the community, right to the charity, right to the kids. Well, That's you have fantastic. a special award, too, called the uh, Charlie Stein Award. And uh, it goes, it's sort of somebody that gives back, I guess, to the sport of golf and to the community. And uh, I believe Sharon Meyer, Smyers won it last year, 2012. Sharon, Sharon did win it last year. Uh, this is the fifth year we've given that out. Mm -hmm. um, and the, we have a committee and they sit down and, and they think about someone that has given back to the kids, to golf and mm -hmm. uh, throughout their life. And uh, so this year we actually have a committee of about four. And these folks, it's, you know, in the past I've known who it is, and it was kind of hard keeping that information from Sharon last year <laughs> with her being on the committee. <laughs> so she wanted to know who, who is it. And he said, well, we haven't decided yet. We knew, we, but yeah. it, we did keep it from her. Uh, so anyhow, they'll, they'll pick that, and it's the fifth year for the Charlie Stein Award. And, and I knew Charlie, and he was a great guy, and, you know, when he started the, the magazine, and uh, so I played a little golf with Charlie back in the day. So uh, it's great, and it's a nice award. And uh, so I don't know who the winner is this year, but we'll find out Sunday afternoon. Sean's sure. oh, pretty impressive. 1978 started. Gosh. Yeah, 1976, I think. Oh, is that what it was? Oh. 79, something like that. Yeah, 37 years, whatever 37 years back is. Yeah, so close enough. Great, yeah, yeah, it's a great amount. I know, I, know I haven't won it, or I know, I know how many years. But, oh, I uh, thought you'd won it once. No, I won the uh, Youth Villa in uh, 98, but uh, finished second this twice, but that was back in the day, so uh, those days are gone. But, uh, really looking forward to this year's event. I think Lone Palm is a, is a great venue. I mean, it's a great golf course, great management. Mm -hmm. um, I know you spoke to Wayne Rath a week or so ago and yeah. he's done a great job and Brian Moran and his staff uh, are just phenomenal to work with so and I, I'm yeah, sure with uh, I'm sure with all this rain and, and, and the weather we've had obviously the golf course is probably absolutely tip-top shape I'm sure they've got those greens rolling uh, rolling pretty true and pretty quick uh, yeah and you event. know when I do play it's a, the rough is a concern you know so I know the rough's coming yeah. up and they're kind of sculpting the fairways a little bit and I think they will double cut and roll the green so uh, <laughs> I think there's a lot there for the players. It's going to be fast. You know, I was out there probably uh, two months ago with a, um, a friend of mine from Colorado, mm -hmm. and I mean, the course was just pristine. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't play very well, though. <laughs> well, that's when your second chip, you got to get your second chip close, Mark. No that's Texas foot wedges or anything? No, well, you know? they're not there looking, but that second chip is important. You know? so you got to get it up there. But uh, I think everyone's uh, looking forward to the tournament. And, uh, you know, we moved it to this part, of, to the other side of the county to speak. And uh, it's still great. And, and like we say, the, the main thing are the charities and uh, to help those folks and help the kids. Well, we've got a... Uh, just a few more minutes or just a minute or so left here but I do want to ask you one question before we let you go and um, I know Dr. R Richard Rudoka mm -hmm. and uh, out of Winter Haven has been very involved in the tournament and uh, obviously couldn't couldn't join us today but uh, is he going to be playing this year? Uh, the good doctor is going to play, and I am kind of surprised that he wasn't here to be on television. Cause probably he, on practicing. Yeah, well, he could, he could well be. <laughs> Unless he had but, a surgery. Uh, but. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Rich is going to play, and uh, uh, he, I know he's looking forward to it. But, you know, he's really taking this committee and taking charge of the committee. And, I mean, you go to the meeting, and he tells you what your duties are. So, you know, the charities, when they have time to, to thank someone they need to thank rich i mean he's done a great job and uh, it's a pleasure working with him but uh, it's well been we, good. we certainly and i know the community really really appreciates all that bright house does and, and i don't think that uh that people really realize how much bright house gives back to the community i mean we are so pleased with uh with having bright house here because you put your money where your mouth is and you put it into human resources uh bb and t another one um, you know, willing to be involved in the community. So, Drew, thanks so much for your time and your uh, resources, uh, not only for this event, but for all the other ones that take place here in Polk. Well, it's our pleasure. You know, Bright House really wants to be a good community partner. Uh, we're out there. We do give back to the community. And I'd also like to thank you guys, uh, Polk County uh, Tourism Sports Marketing, for being a sponsor as well in the tournament. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, we'll let you know how the tournament turns out. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's always uh, it's always well covered, and, and we appreciate it. Well, good. Thank, Thank you, Drew. We appreciate the interview and the exposure. Thanks, Thanks guys. Absolutely. Thank you, Drew.